Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, September the 1st, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 110 and 117, and Acts chapter 11, verse 1 through 18. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Most High's revelation to my master. Sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. Alleluia. Psalms 110 and 117. The Most High's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. God will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes, a prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Most High has sworn an oath and will not change. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Alleluia, O oh, praise the Most High, all you nations. Acclaim God, all you peoples. Strong is God's love for us. The Most High is faithful forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Most High's revelation to my master. Sit on my right and your foes I will put beneath your feet. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Now the apostles and believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him saying, Why did you go to uncircumcised men and eat with them? And Peter began to explain it to them, step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and a trance, in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheet coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners. And it came close to me, and as I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles, and birds of the air. And I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. And I replied, But by no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean you must not call profane. This happened three times. Then everything was pulled up again to heaven. And at that very moment, three men sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where we were. The Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and us. And these six brothers also accompanied me and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen the angel standing in his house and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? And when they heard this, they were silenced, 
and they praised God, saying, Then God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mystery. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal Word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever, amen. Alleluia.